Good morning out there in 2K land, man. Check it out, bro. We only got two days before this thing starts, man. And y'all know what I'm saying when I'm saying it's only two days because today is Tuesday and then you got Wednesday. Really, we just got today and tomorrow because on Thursday, you know, Frasino, Brutal Sim on the scene, Wicked and Me, pretty much everybody's going to New Zealand and... Y'all already know what time it is, man. So if y'all don't do nothing else, make sure y'all like this video, man. Because every time y'all like the video, man, it helps us get closer to that oh-so-coveted 100K. Also, I want to just say real quick, bro, Breeze Tees, do you, you wonder where I got this fire shirt from? This is where I got it from. Breeze Tees is my is my joint. Go down in the link in the description. Do your thing right there. Bow, 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 bow. And uh, get your thing popping. But speaking of Frasino, man, check it out. That boy Frasino. Boy, he been dropping some. Hey, they been talking on, on Twitter, man. And uh, he just dropped it out. He just said straight up. 2K23 needs some sort of ELO skill rating system so everyone's egos can go down a notch on this game. A a rating that co that goes higher when you beat comp, lower when you lose. Every single year, trash players think they're the best because there's nothing to compare each other's win, uh, each other with. And that's something that we've been talking about for a long time, man. They used to have that thing. They you they talked about something like this. They said it was gonna be called like 2K Compete or whatever. Also, the um the stuff in the background. This is Jay's twin gameplay, man. So y'all y'all go check him out. Link will be down in the description. But uh, they, this is something they talked about a couple of years ago. It was gonna be 2K Compete, and it was like it was going to have your lifetime gameplay against somebody else i guess as it were like agent had talked about it and it's gonna be like it would be like if somebody beats you you can look up and see okay well we'd have beat you three thousand times so that one win that you just got because you know people love to come to the stream and be and beat you one time and be like oh yeah we up in this like bro we don't even care about the series i am a content creator i don't care about the series i don't care about being good at the game i just want to play the game have fun and entertain the people that enjoy watching me play the game that's really it but Sometimes you do want to hush people's mouths and so like if they had some type of elo system where it was like uh Like kind of like League of Legends where where you know It goes up and down or what have you on a sliding scale depending on who you beat kind of like apex legend has a hidden elo A lot of games have hidden elo system, but then you have to have uh, Skill based matchmaking and stuff like that. And I understand what he's saying. That's what a lot of people are saying You know, we don't want no skill based matchmaking and uh, I think that's what uh, let's 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 scroll up and um Notorious is saying if we had if we had a year where there was actual skill based matchmaking where elite win percentages peaked in the 60s the 2k community uh, would wind harder than COD, the COD community did when when it was added the reality of consistently playing good play people would destroy this community that's true uh, COD skill based matchmaking I'm actually good at Call of Duty that skill based matchmaking is ridiculous i'm not gonna lie to you you're gonna sit they it wants to have you at a 1kd it is so hard for me to hold a 1.5 or something like that in that game bro they don't want you over one they really don't it is so hard and i ain't even good at the game so i can only imagine what the people that are really good at call of duty go but there will be a rude awakening for the people in the 2k nobody ain't trying to do that stuff right now we just want to have fun play the game uh tacino replied i'm not talking about skill based matchmaking i'm just talking about a skill rating so people uh people have a way to compare skill levels uh, you still play whoever you want if you beat comp your rating goes up and i can feel you on that because a lot of people like to come out there and we gonna we gonna hit this last part and then uh and then you know kind of kind we 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 going to step to it it says no way tacino uh it's almost it's almost every year other big every other big game has this feature uh it would be a no brainer for 2k to get it right and he said lmao it's the main reason every other game blows up competitively uh you you can definitely see who's better and i think he said he said one more thing after that uh like i said man this it's it's a teaser came and said i miss flexing those win loss records before a game uh they need to show the records during park intros again like they did in 18. he said for sure it helped content creators too because viewers could actually tell who was decent when they stepped onto the court right uh because a lot of times right now the only thing we got is your win percentage and then like with the win percentage that really don't mean nothing but but we gonna get to that and uh and then he also says i still don't get how uh, well, that, this this is something else. But anyway, people be, people will be saying like you know maybe they can do it by win percentage, maybe they can do it by this or that. And um, this is what he had to say to that. Here we go. So somebody deleted their tweet, but 
He just said, pointless, most of the best guards last year had 60 win percentage because they only played comp stage. So I think somebody was saying, why don't they do it by win percentage? But he was like, you can't really do that because, uh, because you know, people gonna have 60 wins. And what I was gonna say is a lot of people in 2K, they like to pick and choose who they play. So a lot of times people picking and choosing who they playing, y'all already know what it is, man. A lot of this stuff is just completely invalid. And then, like you said, when you play, when you play stage 24 seven, you probably gonna only have uh, um, you probably gonna only have a 60 win percent or something like that because you playing some of the most elite cheesers in the world And then obviously the best people that play the game. They don't stream or do nothing They just sitting there sweating and they just sitting there sweating They they f***ing balls off for no reason and not even getting that out of it That's something I just don't understand like if you gonna sweat that hard and, and go out of your way to be that good at a game it's got to be for a reason, man. We got a 2K. I can see in the past, we didn't have streaming. We didn't have a 2K league. We didn't have this stuff. But if you're going to sit there and sweat your ass off, at least come out here and try out for some of these leagues. Oh, or is it that you're just good at cheesing, but you're not good in the structure? And but I don't know, man. Who knows? It is what it is. And nah, he just. And the last thing that he said, last but not least, he says, I still don't get how seasons is the main leveling system, bro. I it, it should it should be made as a battle pass alongside a separate rep system at minimum. But that's probably not happening. This is something that I talked about a long time ago, man. I said, listen, bro, they need to have I understand, I like the seasons, I like that, but I think that should be sort of like a battle pass. That's just a free little battle pass for the casual guys like me to play, because I don't play the game as much as the next person. But I still feel like every time 2K has taken out the persistent rep, has taken the persistent rep out of the game, it has kind of hurt the game. So like in 19 and 18, having 99 roll to 99 kind of hurt the game because there was no, it wasn't a persistent rep. It's just you get one player to 99 and then it hurt the fact that you couldn't, but it was a persistent rep, but it was just on one player. So, so we know that we don't want that again. So like we, we, I just feel like having some, having the battle pass or having the seasons along with some type of persistent rep was gonna be dope because it would be dope. I don't know if they're gonna do it. I hope that they do something like that, but we just don't ever know what 2K got. I've said it before. So hey, maybe they gonna do it. Cause you know what I'm saying? I said it last year. So maybe it's gonna make it into the game this year cause the adrenaline bitch. You know, I said that two weeks ago and wow, it was there. So you know, it is what it is, man. So I, I've said it. And now that I said it, it's probably gonna be in the game. We're gonna have seasons and some type of persistent rep. I'm predicting it because that's what I do, man. Like, I, I just feel like that helps the community along and it gives, um, when you complete the season, it gives a lot of people a reason to continue to play the game. Or just give us double VC once you once you get to level 40 or, you know what I'm saying, let us on, earn, earn double rep tokens or something like that. I think that double VC and not having to buy Gatorade once you hit 40 would be a dope feature. You know what I'm saying? You get permanent Gatorade after you um or get another Gatorade bar permanently after you hit 40 or you get double VC. You know what I'm saying? Like something like that. I think those those are things that will be dope. It's so easy to, to get people to keep playing the game. You just got to give them a reason to do it. But some type of persistent rep system, I think that would be dope too. Up next, we got the boy Dime Work saying, you got to know who to listen to when it comes to critiquing the game. That is absolutely correct because some people like myself again are are focused on the longevity of the community the health of the community and we want a good game and we know that by proxy everything will grow from there other people just want a game where they're gonna look like they're the best player on the planet so they can prosper and profit and i can't get mad at either side but at the same time you have to know what someone's agenda is when you're looking at how they're critiquing the game and stuff like that. Some people just gonna bash the game just for monetary value. This is one person that I know does not do that. And that Lego fan, and Lego fan said, goodbye to what was hopefully the worst era of 2K. Can't wait to see the skill and IQ stand out from the rest. No more brain dead centers to eat off their guards. Uh, 24/7 double eat off the guards. 24/7 double teams. No more brain dead guards scoring at will with no fighting back on defense, bro. That's something. That's that's one of the reasons that I literally stopped playing this game, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I stopped playing 22 as much as I did. I didn't want to bash the game, but I knew that as a as a lockdown defender and lockdown university is coming back. By the way, the link to the Discord is down in the description. Y'all make sure y'all hit up on that, man. But I didn't want to go back. I, I, I got tired of just feeling like, bro, there's nothing I can do. 
There's literally nothing that I can do because I can stand here, he speed boosts through me. He skeets off my chest, pause, and just run by me and just run through me, all that stuff. It's just not cool. It's not something that, it wasn't a good feeling. And it's like people telling you, well, you can do this, you can, no, there's nothing that you can do. Because when you run into the right, per like we're gonna win, we still, I still had an 86, 88 win percentage on Xbox and a 92 on PlayStation. Obviously you can combat it, but I just got tired of it. We were winning games because we know how to manufacture threes too, but at the same time, it's like, okay, we manufacturing threes, they're manufacturing threes, we're getting good threes, they're getting bad threes, and then it also, also, you're gonna inevitably, eventually you will in inevitably lose a game because of that. Like when you're losing bad games, taking bad losses like that all day, not all day long, but when you take two or three of them, you just be like, bro, come on, man. This person is clearly exploiting the game. There's nothing that I can do about it. A lot of times in other games, when you try to exploit the game, there's there's either a counter to it or it's just something that you can't do. But you know, that's what we at with it. And uh, that's what we gonna do, man. Hey, he says, this, this will be 100% the most basketball like 2K you've ever seen. And I can say with zero doubt in my mind, time to adapt. I mean, I, I can say that without zero doubt in my mind. Time to adapt at the point guard position, get your head out of your ass and look up, uh, look up a little bit while you're dribbling. Be verbal, build your team chemistry. And I think that's gonna be, it's gonna be hard for a lot of people that play, I think they play stage. I think it's gonna be tough for a lot of people that play um, pro am if you're not used to passing the ball like I said you gotta you might have to two pass the ball at the court you may have to do like we used to do where clutch bring the ball at the court he try to find something he can't find something he no man can kill his guy you may just have to share, share the ball but we're gonna talk about that later with T if there's something that's even possible and he says all I can say all I can say is the things I tweet are for a reason you guys out there think that that the people who who've actually seen the game are just slow in the brain and bugging or overreacting when 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 that's not the case and you're in some unbelievable sack I mean when that's not the case and you're in for some unbelievable sacrifices in your bill good luck I can't I can't doubt it man like I said bro I, I mean from what we are hearing it's gonna be tough on a lot of people. A lot of people just gonna be like, they just they just not gonna know what to do, bro. Um, it, it just is what it is. And I am kinda excited about it, but at the same time, it kinda sucks because I know that we play ISO ball. I know Brute T and Anonymous gonna figure it out, but at the same time, I know it's gonna be some growing pains and I, it's like it's gonna be more imperative than ever, ever that I'm able to knock down my shots. I feel like what it's gonna be like is they keep talking about guards, 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 guards. Uh, Twins say he got some stuff cooking up on the stove, man. I'm getting the feeling that if you're an off-ball bill, you're going to be fine. You'll be able to do the stuff that you want to do. But if you are a guard guard, it's going to be hard to get everything that you want to do. That's just the, that's the feeling that I'm getting. And, um, you know, I haven't seen any gameplay, any stuff like that. I, I, we will see it today. And uh, like we said, the people going to are they going to talk to us about it today and all that good stuff. So we'll see what happens, man. Hey. And the last thing he says is, this is your moment. And, and you know, I just want to highlight some stuff, man, since you know he got the this is your moment. Hey, this Uncle Demi, he said, God is good. I appreciate all my nephews and nieces that, that continually support me. Aren't going to continue to apply the pressure in 2K23 about to be a movie. And he just showed y'all that he hit he hit uh 200K. My boy, Jairus Twin. Hey, that boy said, I woke up today with my first TikTok over a hundred thousand and he said shout out to the boy Jay Easy that made me upload part of the YouTube video to as a TikTok. And he just got a little conversation that he said, I said, bro, please make sure you upload that joint to TikTok. It's gonna and do a YouTube short. It's gonna do do numbers. He said, Yeah, I planned on doing, I'm about to do it right now. I had went and clipped it and did everything and all this stuff because I had to put it. I thought it was just so hilarious. And then right here he's just showing us. He's showing us uh, this morning. Well, that's that's the conversation that we had. You know, I sent it to him. I said the joint had me dying, and bow. He's got uh right now that joint got a hundred thousand, man. So hey, shout out to my boy Twin, man. That's my guy. And uh, like I said, like I said in the thing, man. Hey, when my bro, when our brothers win, we all win. So when the community eats, we all eat. Everybody eats. B. And maybe that's my biggest issue, man, because I want to see everybody win 
because it's like if everybody win, then you know rising tide raises all ships. Also, he's got he got to turn me up halfway to a hundred. Hey, hey, there you go right there, fifty thousand twin man. That boy that he been working hard in the community, always positive, ain't got nothing bad to say about nobody. And then lastly, he's saying. Hey, I'm up like a little kid on Christmas. I might break the internet today. And then I just told, can't wait. That Bart Scott, what? can't wait. Yay, yeah, hey, hey, it is what it is. Like I said, man, this community uh, is something that I love. I love doing content. I got some different type of content. We got Ray G. Miller coming back. We're going to have Red, uh, some video. It's going to be a video with uh, probably with Reggie Miller today. You know, we're going to do a little cut, a little promo for Ray G and all of that. I'm probably going to do him on, on the... Uh, PC though, because it's just so much easier to do stuff like that um, on PC and all that good stuff, man. So we're gonna see how that goes. But hopefully y'all understand what I mean when I'm saying I'm not just concerned with me looking like I'm good at the game or feeling like, you know, of having a game that suits my play style. I want a game that's healthy, that everybody enjoys playing, everybody wants to do, everybody wants to play it, create content. And like I said, a rising tide, raise, rising tide raises all ships, man. So hopefully we're gonna see how this thing pops off. And uh, it all starts today at 3 p.m. And then we got, like I said, we got today 3 p.m. Uh, all that footage is gonna come out. We're gonna get to see everybody's doing the builder and all that. Then right after that, we're gonna see uh, tomorrow, it'll be, we'll have a day, it's gonna be kind of like a blank day in the middle. Uh, and then they're talking about, they're gonna do the city. I think the city is gonna come out on Wednesday. And then Thursday, the game's gonna be out. Tysino will have it, Brutal have it. Everybody that, that's in New Zealand is gonna have it, man. So yo, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, man. Make sure y'all drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Speak, speak, speak.